In my country, there is a program for fresh graduates called the National Youth Service Corps. Graduates are supposed to serve the country in different appointed states for one year. When the time drew close for my time in the program to end, I started to work as hard as I could to prepare myself for the business world. I had concluded long ago that I wouldn't get a job, so I spent so much time during this NYIC program to develop my writing. As soon as I left the program, I started writing and publishing profusely. I remember one particular morning when I was going to write a 10-part article series for my blog. Although my brain was near fried as I wrote those articles, I forced myself to get those articles written because I knew something about succeeding in life. I knew I had to succeed or die trying. I knew success never came on a golden platter. I knew if I must succeed, I had to desire it so greatly that I would be willing to work so hard I would break. That was the only way anyone in life could succeed. The decision that could change your life. Once, rapper 50 Cent released an album titled Get Rich or Die Trying. For a long time, my religious side struggled with that statement. I never believed success was supposed to be that tough. But as I grew in understanding, I have learned the decision that most people make that make them succeed. I have realized over the years that success does not fall in one's lap like a pack of cards. Success is not giving on a platter of gold. You could never find the biggest gold on the surface. If you have to succeed, you must work hard. If you must succeed, you have to desire to succeed or die trying. People who succeed choose to succeed or die trying. Most people who succeed have made this decision for themselves. That is why they keep succeeding. Men who get lucky succeeding have also been found to become poor eventually. The reason is simple. Where you do not make a deliberate effort to get something, when it comes to you, you will never know how to manage it. A man who wants to be successful ethically at all costs will study books on money, businesses and finances. He would attend seminars. He would make deliberate choices and decisions that bring him closer to his dream. He would eventually become rich. But what we miss is what he becomes in the process of becoming rich. He has acquired the mindset of the rich, such that even if he lost all the money in his account, he would be able to recover them given the time. With his wealth mindset, he can always attract more wealth to himself. If you will ever become successful, if you will ever leave where you are to where you are supposed to be, you must be willing to give all it takes ethically to succeed. The fear that motivates. For a long time, I was afraid that I was lazy because my parents always protected me and never let me do so much. I grew up not knowing how to take risks. I always did so little and would never try hard. So as I proceeded to become an adult, I was afraid I was too lazy and since I had learned that being lazy will make me poor, I started to do all I could to keep from being poor. Whenever someone said a job wasn't good enough, I made sure I did it again or gave it my best the next time. I hated to sleep too much because I would feel I was eventually giving in to that laziness. I hated watching too many movies or taking so long breaks because I thought it would make me lazy. So I kept putting in more work and more work. Until I found I was working even harder than I had never imagined I would in life. The reason was simple. I was motivated by the fear of poverty. I was never going to be poor or I would die trying. The singular decision to be rich, to make something out of life, to ensure that I achieved something worthwhile encouraged me to do all that I could to achieve my results. On the path of success lies those who fail to make decisions they commit to. Robert Kiyosaki said, Most people are too lazy to think. They don't learn anything new. They just keep thinking the same thoughts every day. End of quote. Most people are too lazy to make decisions that would change their lives that they make flimsy decisions they never commit to. In his best-selling memoir turned movie, in pursuit of happiness, when Chris Gardner's wife left him with their only child because Chris was poor, he knew he had to get rich or die trying. He worked so hard, failed so hard and kept trying until he got in the coveted position in the stockbroken firm. He went on to form his own multi-billion dollar brokerage firm. The universe responds to create decisions. Most people whose lives do not change are those who refuse to make concrete decisions to change your life. You may want to lose weight. But you have not made a concrete decision to do so, so you don't lose weight. You may want to be rich, but you have not decided you will be rich or will die trying. So you aren't rich. You may desire to have the good things of life, but you have not decided on the things you will give up so you can achieve that thing you're looking for. So you don't have what you desire. The day you choose to stand up and tell yourself, 
I will get this done or die trying. And you follow up your decision with dogged action. The entire universe will conspire together to help you. Nothing good comes cheap. No one gets the gold who doesn't pay the price. No one will rise who doesn't go down on his knees and sweat. If you're not willing to sweat for it, then you're not ready to have it. Your success lies in your decision to stand up and tell yourself, I will succeed at all costs or I will die trying. If you ever get the success of life, you must be willing to make the decision all ethically successful people make. I will get rich or die trying. If this video inspired you, like the video. We love you.